Dinner for two. Once again, reclaiming their affinity for fleeting moments and the necessities of life, consuming an ecosystem while existing in their own, amongst the fabric of good company. Opening love's presence and drinking in its essence. Feeding into the feeling we frequently give shelter to. Balsamic and lemon blemish from the tips of their fingers. Glass after glass, the table becomes more of a playground than a dinner table. Perpetually chasing that, oops, moment. Tasting him in the ginger soup that drips from his mouth. Open up. The noodles look lovely, he thinks. But they would look better on their face. Ditching the forks deep with their hands. They think it's more romantic. It is more romantic. Their time is spent best when they have no one to answer to. Noodles and sauce travel through space. Their antics are taking on color, texture, and form despite their oblivion. Working together in symphony. Leaving a lasting trail behind. Was it here the food fights didn't play? Turn left and look gray. I hope you made a wish. Did we catch them on a bad night? A fragile fool with a taste for chaos. Weird from such a discourse. Uttering the word. Please. The waiter takes away the mess. But can't take away theirs. Cheers. Spills of espresso soak into the cotton threads. What better way to get over the pain you feel than to inflict it on someone else? It's only hot wax. A cake too big. Maybe to make their problems smaller. Tastes and stains so bright. A sword fight with butter knives. An awful metaphor I wish were real. But that's not true. Knives drop. Lips lock. Cigarettes light, burning away any remaining regret. The last flavor for the palette. The last color for the canvas. Ashing shades of black on the remaining surface, still somehow white. And when they leave the table, they leave every moment there, too. Every stain, every flavor, and every color. Here, the remnants of their time together stand still. <laughs>